Hi everyone. Um, so this is a painful video about sitar. No, I don't know. Let's start differently. Hi everyone. I want to make the. Hi everyone. If you watch my videos about uh, learning the sitar. Hi everyone. Hi. <clears throat> what am I doing? I have no idea what I want to talk about. Hi everyone. I'm having a lot of trouble starting this video. So it's about Ms. Robs and it's about playing the sitar as a student and trying to really learn your instrument in full and all the little intricacies. Um, how to sum that up in a brief hello statement, I'm not quite sure. But if you're familiar with my channel and you are familiar with my sitar videos, you know that um, besides showing my progress learning the sitar or showing some of my practices um, or the live streams where I try to answer questions uh, or I did a video all about the history of the sitar, um, I like to also explore other elements of the instrument that um, are outside of just sort of straight playing of the instrument. So that leads me to um, the Mizrab, which is the um, finger pick, plectrum, let's say, that you wear on your, your finger. And I thought, I'm going to make a video about how to make a Mizrab. So that's what this is about, sort of. Um, I have a couple books that show how to make them, and you know you can look that up on, on you know, the internet using your favorite search engine of choice. Um, there's a, a, at least one I know of other video on YouTube that shows sort of how to make a Mizrab, um, but it's an older video, and I thought, well, you know, this would be a good chance for me to um, visit this topic and, and hopefully share something with viewers who might like to know that, especially if you're... Um, you know, you lose your Ms. Rob or you're not in an area where uh, there's a, a sitar store right down the corner because I certainly don't really have one of those either. Um, so I tried to make one because I thought, you know, before I record the video, I'll make a Ms. Rob. And I made another one and another one. And the reason I was making more of them is because I was making really bad ones. Um, making a Mizrop is really hard, and I spent uh, probably an hour making them and starting them and failing and throwing it out. And I have I have three here, sort of. I've got. See, I don't know how well this will show up. I'll do some close-ups, but I have this monstrosity, which is one huge and full of um, excess edges. I have this one, which actually started to come out okay. Um, but it's got these really, the, I couldn't get the wrappings on the inside right. It's very sharp on the inside, and it's also way too big. So then I tried to make a, a smaller one, which is this here. Oh, oh, okay, well, which is now on the floor. <laughs> and uh, I was, was getting a little bit better at that, and I was turning the wire, and it just shot right into my finger, or into my thumb to be exact. And I started bleeding uh, all over myself. And that's when I said, I am done doing this. So, sitar, as if you know if you're a student um, or, or you've tried to play before, it's already really difficult on your fretting hand. Um, it's a lot of, uh, for your, your, your Ms. Rob hand or your strumming hand, let's say, um, there's a lot of technique and exhaustion that happens there. Um, sitar is a really hard instrument. Changing a string is really hard. Um, getting your jawari right is really hard. Um, getting the instrument in tune. Oh my god. I, I tried to practice last night. Finally got a chance to sit down. And what happens? But I go to do a big bend, big mean, and big squeak, and, and my peg slips. And it took me another 10 minutes just to get my sitar uh, in tune and to not be, to be stable again. Um, and if you want to try to do something like, hey, I'm going to make a Ms. Rob for fun because I want to explore all the little elements of this instrument. It's, I would have been better if I just sat on the floor and practiced for that hour. So sometimes uh, you learn a lesson after the fact. I think that's what I learned tonight. Um, and, you know... When you go to order a Ms. Rob, or if you there's a place that sells them near you and they seem like they cost more money than 
than the materials warrant, just just buy it. Don't don't bother trying to make your own because you're gonna spend um, a lot of time, and maybe you'll end up with a piece of metal uh, jamming through your thumb, and um, yeah, it was it was not fun. So uh, with that, I'm just gonna say, go practice, do your best, um, give it everything you've got. That's it for me right now. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and you can visit me on Patreon so that uh, I can keep making videos like this and maybe, uh, maybe someday we will get that Ms. Rob made. But I'm done tonight. All right, thank you so much for watching. Bye. Oh, side note, my radiator is like, of course, now that I hit record on the video, it's like kicked on, and so if you hear a lot of hiss, that's because the radiator is blasting and I don't know why I'm still wearing this sweatshirt because I'm going to be sweating in about two seconds because it's about not even a foot away from me and it is blasting out heat. Hey, New York apartments, that's what happens.